cats in my life. I really don't know what I'd do without them. They definitely saved me from the hard times in life. I'm sorry, I woke you up, princess. Look at that. Hello, beautiful dreamers, and welcome back to my channel once more. In today's video, I'm going to show you all my pets, except my fish, since I've already done a video on them recently. So you'll get to see my birds, my cats, and I don't think I see a cat right there. But here's a cat right here, and she's biting me, oh no. I'm a cat too. My first goal I ever wanted to be was a cat, until I learned it was physically impossible. Well then it stopped me. Oh, and look. Hi. So the pets I've owned previously are chickens, geese, ducks, turkeys, uh, different types of birds. We've had doves and budgies, as you can hear. They're always tripping along in my videos. See? And then I've had cats, dogs, uh, hamsters, ferrets, uh, gerbils, mice. I love rats. They're one of my favorites, but I'm allergic to them. I get a weird skin allergy when their little paws touch my skin. And then I've also developed asthma towards them, so I can't have them anymore. Let's see, I've had rabbits. And... Did I say cats? What else have I owned? Fish. Different types of fish. Fresh and salt water. Oh, axolotls. Bear dragons. Uh, chameleons. Snakes. Uh, oh, toads, frogs. Okay, so I've had starfish, clams, shrimp, and starfish. I think that's all I can name at the moment. I don't know if I said dogs or not. We had dogs. And... Oh, I had a, a scorpion. I found. <laughs> okay, so we used to have this house out in the country, and it had a scorpion problem. So I kept one scorpion. It was like a little scorpion like this big. It was kind of, I don't know, like a whitish color. I don't know the name of it, but I know that it wasn't deadly. But yeah, I had one for a few days, I kept, and then I let it go. Um, what else have I had? Ants. Do ants count? I had ants in the kitchen once. Roaches? <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the video. And I'll show you all my pets. So the first two pets I'm going to show you are my two beautiful cats. Well, actually, this is my sister's cat. So she's my niece. This is Ellie. And this is Ellie's sister, Meowth. And Meowth is mine. And I'm hers. Hey, beautiful girls. Isn't they beautiful? Now these two cats here were actually feral and we found them by the pool and they were about I think this one was about six weeks old at the time that we caught him we caught Meowth a few months um, later when she was closing closing in to three months or three and a half months and now they're completely tame and so loving so glad we found them or stolen from the wild <laughs> This is Peaches. Had her for 12 wonderful years. And she spoiled Ryan, and I love it. Sorry, Peaches. And here's Pearl. Do you see it, baby? That's all big. That's Pearl for nine precious years. <laughs> the baby. I love you. Is he really? <laughs> oh, there's Meow! Hey, Meow! I get excited. I get so excited. Can't help it. I love cat love. Cat energy. Cat energy gives me cat strength. Aww. 
They're so cute. noisy beaks right here. These are my budgies. This is Locket. And then there's Shadow going down there. Shadow I've had for a year and he's a boy. And Locket is a female. She's quite younger though. Get them more toys. And this will look all big and scary. These are my jumping beans. I want to show you them also because they're my pets. I've got three of them. And I take care of them. I give them water. I kiss them every night before bed and I tell them I love them. Do you believe me? Because I totally do. Alright, baby beans, go back to sleep. So in the next video, I'm going to show you my Camellia Weezer. My Camellia. <laughs> So that's it for this video, and I will do a more detailed video on our Chameleon Weezer. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and please subscribe if you want to see more cat. So that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed all my animals, and I want more. I need more. I still want um, a white tree frog. And then we want a blue poison arrow dart frog. And I want another fish tank. That's salt water. I want an eel. I want more clams. I want a star, a sand sifting sea star. That's always so hard for me to say. Sand sifting sea star. Sand sifting star sea. <laughs> sand sifting sea. Star. Oh my goodness. See, it cannot. Sand sifting sea star. Okay, a sand sifting sea star. Oh, I. <sighs> Goodbye. <laughs> so I thought of another pet after I turned my camera off, after I named all those pets. I've had guinea pigs. Cannot leave guinea pigs out. But they poop so much that I probably won't ever have them again. But they're so cute, especially when they squeak. And I want to tell you a story about the scorpions is that one time I was sound asleep on my bed. Sound asleep. We had bunk beds. I was on the bottom, my sister on the top. 
and I was sound asleep and I felt this little, you know, this little on my arm. And I wake up, I'm like, oh my gosh, it better not be a scorpion. And so I immediately just flung that thing off, ran for the lights, I turned on, searched the bed on my pillow, a freaking scorpion was on my bed trying to, who knows what it was trying to do to me. Probably take advantage of stuff, <laughs> no, seriously. And, um, oh my goodness, that's, mm -mm. nope, nope, nope. And we also had an earwig problem there too. So scorpions and earwigs. And that's the country for you, apparently. And then one time the scorpion stung my kitty on her nose. Little Peaches. Peaches was a baby. You've seen Peaches in the video. She's a big cat now, but at the time she was just, she was just a little baby and she got stung right on the nose. But thankfully it was a dry sting. She was fine. Her face didn't swell up. No allergic reaction because it was dry. So nothing. So I'm glad she was safe and sound. And I spent the whole day pampering her because I love her ever so much and ever so much when I squeeze her. Okay, so that's it for the video. <laughs>